I am Quado, and today I will be presenting our final project, which is a deep dive into the world of 3D modeling and printing to the lens of virtual reality. Our goal is to showcase the rich content I have developed demonstrating how VR technology can be a game changer in the field of 3D design. We will explore the immersive experience that VR brings to modeling and the seamless transition from virtual design to physical 3D print. If you have any question about the presentation or wish to discuss the content further, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at kdo 63 at churchatech.edu. Let's move forward and discover how VR redefining the battery of 3D modeling and 3D printing. We will start by exploring the background and the overreaching purpose of integrating virtual reality with 3D modeling. We will see how this synergy in nurtured revolutionizing the design process but also enhancing educational method. Next, we touch on key research and study that back the use of VR in this field, highlight the proven benefit and potential it holds for different learning style and professional application. Lastly, we will provide a snapshot of our current project, which include a live demo of VR asset design, because some of the limitations we are facing and conclude with our vision and the future direction of VR in 3D printing and modeling. The first point we cover is a significant shift we have witnessed from traditional 2D screen to the immersive VR environment. This transition isn't just a technological upgrade, it's a complete paradigm shift of how we interact with and conceive the design in a three-dimensional space. Next, we look how this shift expands creative possibility and ramp up educational efficacy. VR isn't just a tool for professional designers, it becomes an integral part of the classroom, transforming how students engage with complex concepts and design principles. Lastly, we talk about empowerment to innovation. VR in 3D design isn't just about what we can create today, it's about equipping a new generation with the advanced skill they need to invent the future. We are not just teaching them how to use the new tool, we are giving them the ability to think design, and solve problems in ways that were previously unimaginable. Moving on with the related research, let's start with the academic perspective. A pivotal study by VAR in 2022 took us into the heart of the industry 4.0. VAR work eliminate how gravity sketch and hand design creativity, particularly in complex luminaire design projects. It's not just about a new tool, it's about transforming the design process itself. And then we also have YouTube. We have YouTube channel like Make Anything and Create with Tech, bring the power of VR in our fingertip. They bridge the gap between VR tools like Gravity Sketch and 3D Printing, providing a step-by-step -step guide that demystifies the journey from virtual design to physical creation. Online platform also writing on the VR way. Cost on platforms like Udemy, particularly, Learn 3D Printing offer a structured model that deep dive into 3D printing. They cover everything from design consideration to the final print, offer a full circle of learning. And lastly, we have internet article from site like our 3DP and 3D Printing Industry. Plus the nuance of 3D modeling with gravity sketch. They also highlight its user-friendly nature and compatibility with various printing techniques. Painting a picture of a tool that's easy to use and is sophisticated in its capability. Here we have a snapshot of success, a tangible demonstration of what students can achieve to our course. This is where digital meets the physical, where ideas lift up the screen into reality. First, we see the student journey to the 3D creation process, utilizing VR tool to design from a new perspective. The immersive environment of VR provides a canvas for their imagination, enabling a more intuitive development of their design. Next, we delve into the design thinking, a critical element of the course. This isn't just about learning to use the software, it's about cultivating the mindset that blends creativity with practical problem solving. Students learn to reiterate, refine, and evolve their design, thinking beyond the limitation of traditional methods. And here's the culmination of that journey, a physical product that they can hold on their hand. This isn't just a model, 
is a representation of the skill and concept they have mastered from the initial concept in VR to a 3D limited reality. Still a live course, not with the knowledge, but with something they have created. A testament to their hard work and great designed a birthday gift for his mom. He sketched his idea on paper first, then he modeled his design on the computer. Can you guess what's he making? Yeah. He received his final product and did post processing. Tidal is a business card holder for his mom's nail salon. Final product. Follow us for more steam activity. And creativity. Moving on to the overview of the course, so we use Google Classroom in order to update our class as fast as we can. First, we have our tech lesson. They are designed to give you the foundation knowledge required for 3D design in VR. They are detailed, easy to follow, and serve as your go-to resort for theoretical aspect of the course. And then we have video lesson, provide visual and auditory learning experience, demonstrate the tool and technique in action. It's one thing to read about the process, but seeing it coming to life on the screen has solidified your understanding and inspired your creativity. Quiz are helping you to ensure that you're observing the material. They are not just a test, they are a tool for reinforcement, help to aim key concepts and process in your memory. And lastly, we have assignment where theory meet practice. You take the lesson you learn and apply it to your own 3D creation in VR, in Blender, and in slicing. This hand on approach where you learn real learning happen as you experiment, iterate, and innovate. And we have survey, so your feedback is really crucial. It helps us understanding your experience, what working for you, and where we can improve from there. This course isn't just about teaching you, it's about learning together to continually enhance the learning journey for everyone involved. Here is the preview of the student using the MetaQuest 2 and gravity cast to do their design. The first cat experience will help rapidly acclimate working in 3D. Inside gravity sketch, set first, sketch any time by pressing the blue button. After completing all the sketch outline, a mannequin it represents wrapping, moving to be placed upon a motorcycle. Lastly, scale 200 using both trigger to do their design in VR. Here's a review of how we can make a snowman in Blender, where we focus on the basic shape, how to move, rotate, and use modifier to make 3D model easier. Now it's a brief. So we start with opening Blender. So if you open the file from my website, this is what you see. Blue, green, and red square. So what do you and want to what do? can you tell me from all this shit? Is it a keep, cylinder, or cone? Actually, instead of making the node first, let's make the... So in this case, you can use another, another cylinder. Second one, the third, and the fourth one. Then click on the object you want to change the color to. Now it's a review to see how we export the snowman from the organizer and prepare it for the 3D printing. That's why for object in mid-air, for example, the nose right here. This is the main interface of Orca Slicer. From here, you can add different printer by clicking on the left side, go to add and remove printer. From there, you can choose different printer based on your need and for this one into the printer segment of our representation focused on the limitation we have encountered in our project recognizing this challenge is crucial as it provide key learning insight and highlight area for future development we have technical constraints such as software feature hardware capability and processing power these factors sometimes limit the complexity and scale of our project Resource availability is not a challenge. Include access to specialized tool, material for 3D printing, and managing time constraints. This care for resource management and planning. Skill variation. The diverse skill level among students present a unique challenge. Adapting to different learning paths was crucial for ensuring that our students could effectively engage with the technology. 
scope of the course, the advantages of VR and 3D modeling meant we have to strategically select the content for the course, leaving some area for future exploration. And the last one is the important aspect in the difference between in-person and online learning. Some concepts and practical skills are easy in a physical classroom setting. This tactile immersive nature of the technology sometimes doesn't translate well to an online medium. As we reach the conclusion of our presentation, let's take a moment to consider both where we have been and where we are headed. Our course isn't just a set of lessons, it's a dynamic educational journey that involves each cohort. We are committed to continuous monitoring and improvement, adapting to the latest advancement in VR and 3D design. Your feedback is a combat that helps guided evolution. It's more than just common to us. It's a critical component that informs how we adapt and enhance the cost structure and content. We invite you to be candid and thoughtful in your response, having a tailored and educational experience that are not only meet but exceed expectations. As for the future, we see it as a canvas of endless possibility. We are not just following trends, we are seeking to set them. We are investigating new VR capability, integrating cutting-edge 3D printing technology, and expanding our educational offering to cover the latest in innovation design. Our ambition to equip you with a skill that's future-proof, enable you to lead a charge in a rapidly evolving digital landscape. Our journey to the culture is the beginning. We are excited to support you as you explore in the vast potential of VR and 3D printing. We're eager to see how you apply this skill to create, innovate, and aspire in a world beyond the virtual classroom.